time, I like to create um, videos for LinkedIn or also for my Facebook group like this because it's very spontaneous, it's really nice, and I can share content and information on the fly. However, videos that have you know captions underneath them that have subtitles always, always convert better um, on average. And so it's really, really important to add those subtitles um, to your videos for LinkedIn or you know for Facebook or whatever it is, um, the social media platform that you're using. So I'm going to show you in this video exactly like how I'm going to do this and how I'm going to do this in like under 15 minutes or sometimes even 10 minutes. It's super, super fast. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to go to my Facebook group um, or I have a Google uh, Drive folder with diverse content as well as I created. But for this purpose, I want to actually get um, a, a video that I have posted in my Facebook group just a few months ago. And I have not shared that um, yet on LinkedIn. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this video um, and I'm going to download it from my Facebook group right now and let while this is loading I'm just going to wait while this Hi is guys. loading um, I'm just in okay let me pause this right now perfect I moved myself to the right um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just click show video URL I'm going to copy the video URL. I'm opening up a new tab and then I just want to go ahead and paste this video URL in the new tab. Um, and then what this is going to do is it pulls up um, by the unique Facebook URL of the video, which I need in order to download um, a video. And you can, by the way, download any video um, on Facebook, which is um, pretty awesome that way. Um, I use a little Google Chrome um, plugin to do that. So I click on it first of all, um, I'm um, just to pause it. Ah, okay, let me go back. Perfect. Um, and then let me just pause it for a second right there. I'm going to go ahead and this is the downloader, the Google Chrome extension to download it. Um, sometimes you just have to reload the page. So it takes um, it a while, the Google Chrome extension to kind of capture the URL. Um, so just reload it in case it doesn't work right away. And then you can do standard definition or high definition. I usually choose high definition. Then I click download this video. Um, then the, the Facebook down, um, that's the Google Chrome extension. So you can get it by going to facebookdown.net. It's really cool and it's free and it's really cool. I use it all the time as I, you know, recorded a video from my phone and uploaded it to a Facebook group and I haven't stored it for whatever reason in my Google Drive content folder. I like to just simply, you know, have that option of that Google Chrome extension, which allows me to really download any video on Facebook. Um, and also from any Facebook group that I'm, a, that I'm a part of. So it's really cool. And then you click on download the video. It will open one more vid window and then I go guys, to just free docs uh, just and download the video. Right uh, Let me pause it again. Let me move myself up and then click download. And here the download is starting. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and go to Rev. And Rev is the voice transcription um, website that I like to use to transcribe my videos to do, to essentially um, add subtitles, I should say, for my videos, especially on LinkedIn. Because as of the time this video is going to be recorded, LinkedIn does not allow you um, to add the subtitles in their own video platform. So you have to do it outside of LinkedIn and then upload the video with the subtitles to LinkedIn. And to make this process really easy, um, I usually use Rev. Um, you can use someone on Fiverr as well, but this is um, how I do it and it's very easy. Let me just show you how you do this. Um, so you go to rev.com. For this purpose, I'm going to just open a new account to take you guys through this. Okay, so now that we have created the account, we want to be going to um, place a new order and then you click on captions because we want to get the captions, right? Essentially the subtitles for um, 
that for the video for LinkedIn. Um, and for ref, you just have to click captions. You don't click subtitles. The subtitles won the version or the options is just if you want to translate this, like the captions into different languages. So for now, like if your video is English and you want to have English sort of captions of the video or subtitles, I just click on caption options of ref, right? And then you click on upload the video. And this is pretty straightforward. Uh, so in essence, we do then you just put choose file and I'm going to type in that number um, of the video downloaded right here. Um, here is my car video that I want to be uploading on LinkedIn. And then let me move my face a little bit um, to the top. OK, we don't need the chat bot right now. OK. And then let me move myself a little bit further up. There we go. And then we'll click on upload. The upload is complete. We have English caption total. Um, and just so you know, ref is usually $1 for one minute, right? So my video here is um, almost three minutes long. So they charge, they round it up and they charge $3, which is still pretty amazing. Um, so as you can, as you can see, right? So now I have this uploaded, uh, then the output file format, I almost, I always leave the um, .srt. So you leave the .srt and then you essentially just click on checkout and you know, you type in your credit card information, you place the order. And like I said, um, it will take um, about um, it will take about 12 to 24 hours. If you have a video that is um, over a minute long, if you have a video that's 10 or 15 seconds long, you're going to get it within an hour or two. Um, but for LinkedIn, usually my videos are always between an hour, uh, an hour, <laughs> one minute and three minutes. Um, and so that's the time that will take. So just plan ahead accordingly, like mentioned. Um, and so, yeah, go ahead and type that in and then place your order. And then I'll take you to the next step. Okay, so now um, the next day, right, that I've gotten back um, the captions to the video, you can see here it says my job was complete. Um, and what you have to do next is you have to use like another platform and that is called Handbrake. Over onto Handbrake and now you can simply download it. Um, and that might take another couple of moments or so. So now that we've uh, downloaded Handbrake, Handbrake is going to look uh, something like this, right? So this is the platform, this is the software of how it exactly looks like. And now we need to go to back to Rev, um, that software, right? And I'll show you right now. So it looks like this once um, the job is done, it says complete. And then you click on um, your order, right? And then what I usually do is you want to go through it and you want to edit it. Um, just to really make sure that they timed it correctly with the subtitles. And the cool thing is that Rev actually does time, you know, the subtitles too. So they're not going to just give you a file and you have to um, add them to it. So if we're going for it right now and we're playing it, right, you see it perfectly timed. And then you just kind of, uh, you want to make sure that it fits, right? Okay. And so everything like looks good. So we'll go back to the order details right now. And now we're clicking on download and you want to download the SRT file. So click download right now. I did that already, but just so you can see it again. Now we're going back to handbrake. And so now, um, we are in handbrake, right? And so we have our video right now here under the summary, uh, which looks pretty cool. So again, you go to open source and then you just find your file, your video file and you upload it, right? The next step is that you want to click on subtitles. And then now we have to add, add the external SRT file, right? So we essentially have to upload, um, that, uh, the text, right? To the video. So we click on open and then see, we have the SRT file right now here. Um, and now the important thing is you really have to click on burnt in. So that makes sure that, especially for LinkedIn, we have, um, the SRT file is really, really going on focusing on being on the right spot, right? Um, in the video and we can upload the video actually with the subtitles. So we have a file that has the video and the subtitles. Um, and so that's, pretty much it. And then what you do is you just click on start um, and it will just simply export or kind of match the video with the SRT file and create this beautiful file that you can just upload to your LinkedIn then. And so this will just take a couple of moments. So let's just wait for it to be done. 
Okay guys, now that the video is ready um, from Handshake, um, we are going to go ahead to LinkedIn um, where I want to upload that video, right? And so first of all, I'm going to upload it. Um, it usually Handshake saves it automatically in the movies file. You can of course also define if you want a particular name right here, right? Otherwise it shows you here where the file is saved so you can easily find it. Um, and now you're gonna click on movie and then we're going to upload the video. This might take like a moment or two. Okay, so now we have uploaded um, the video to LinkedIn and now I'm just going to record like a quick, uh, little really cool, you know, and catchy description so that people are going to go ahead and are interested also in watching the video as well. So now I've written the text so far and now I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple more emojis. I already have the car um, and I want to add an arrow down as well to kind of really kind of put a heavy um, call out for uh, creating comments and creating conversations. Um, so let me just grab the code for this arrow. So I'll copy paste this, then go over here and add this in the comments. And then I'm going to add a couple more hashtags because I think that's important as well. I like that. I like this looking good. And now the see the captions are in the video, which is super important. And let's go ahead and post it. Yay. Um, and that was pretty much it. Um, anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you want more awesome tips and tricks and this little hacks to really learn how you can, you know, further optimize your content and your digital business and everything like that, be sure to check out, you know, our Funnel Pro Academy. I'm going to put the link to it in the description section. And I'm also going to put the link to the description section for my free Facebook group um, where I share really daily tips and tricks just like these ones. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.